Good afternoon. We are with the National News from BGI TV, Babaklakide Imo TV. I am Moriwe Rabi Lalawal, first having major headlines for the National News. Fake news, misinformation, fueling insecurity, FG. Anambra lawmaker slums dies in South Africa. Bill tags aid speech electoral offense recommends imprisonment. Also denies receiving 100 billion naira from FG. IPOP goes after abductors of Reverend Sisters. And to the last story, one day as Oro worshippers chop members clash in Lagos. Now the news in detail. The federal government has said insecurity being experienced in some parts of the country is as a result of fake news and misinformation. Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, stated these in Abuja while representing President Mohammed Buhari at the Citizens Summit of National Integration, Peace and Security, organized by the Nigerian Institute of Public Relations, NIPR. This summit couldn't have come at a better time with the issues of peace, security and national unity on the front burner of our national discourse. In recent times, in particular, peace and security have been on the lips of many Nigerians against the backdrop of rampaging terrorists, bandits and kidnappers. This crisis of insecurity has unfortunately been exacerbated by the twin evil of fake news and misinformation. Mohammed cited examples to illustrate how fake news is fueling oppression and anxiety in the country while the meeting and interview lasted. To another tragic event, a member of the Anambra State House of Assembly, Honorable Inamde Okafo, has been announced dead. Daily polls report that Okafo, who represents Oka South State Constituency 1, is also the majority leader of the State Assembly. The two-time lawmaker reportedly slumped in a hotel in South Africa where he's holidaying. A source who announced the death in a political WhatsApp group said the majority leader of Anambra State House of Assembly and member representing Oka South Constituency 1, Honorable Inamde Okafo Akajugo Oka, collapsed in the early hours of today in a hotel at Standon City, Johannesburg, South Africa, and was confirmed dead hours later. Causes of his death is yet to be ascertained at the time of filing this report. May his gentle soul rest in peace. Amen. Most members of the Anambra State House of Assembly have been in South Africa on all day for close to a month since the Assembly went on recess. Okafo's death has, however, not been officially confirmed by the leadership of the State Assembly. The disease is a United States of America trained pharmacist and runs a pharmaceutical company with diagnostic services. To the next story from the National News. A bill seeking to establish a natural, National Electoral Offenses Commission, which is under consideration by the National Assembly, has proposed to clarify its speech as an electoral offense that may attract a jail term of 10 years or a fine of 40 million naira or both. The House Representative Committee on Electoral Matters held a public hearing on the bill for an act to establish the National Electoral Offenses Commission and for Related Matters 2022 in Abuja on Tuesday. On the path, on the part 4 of the bill titled Electoral Offenses Clause 32, which has an explanatory note prohibition of hate speech, criminalist speeches that could spark violence, it also provided that nothing in this sort clause shall be read, read or given effect in a way which prohibits or restricts discussion, criticism, or expressions of anti-party, dislike, ridicule, insult, or abuse of particular beliefs or practices of their adherents, or of an or their belief system or beliefs or practice of its inherent or proselytizing or urging adherent to a different belief system sees practicing their belief system. And to the next story concerning ASU strike ongoing, declaring that they did receive 100 million naira from the federal government. The academic staff union of universities ASU, University of Abuja branch, has said contrary to the claim by the federal government, the union did not receive 100 billion naira from the federal government. The union blamed the government for its ongoing strike, saying it frustrated all genuine efforts it had made to end the industrial action. The University of Abuja branch chairman, Dr. Kashim Omon, speaking Tuesday during the union's congress at the university's mini campus in Gwagwalada, 
said the Congress deliberated on issues around the strike and vehemently rejected the offer presented by the federal government. Reacting to the report that the federal government has approved another 100 billion naira for the university union as part of the 2009 agreement, Omaru said all this being said in social media and newspaper are not through. We have no alternative than to do what we are doing, and we must do it so that we can compete with the external world, he concluded. And to other security stories, the indigenous people of Biafra, IPO, has vowed to go after the government who abducted four Catholic reverend sisters recently at Omololo in Okigwe local government area of Imo State. IPO, in a statement by its spokesperson, Emma Powerful, urged the abductors to release the female clerics who, he said, did nothing to warrant such treatment. He said, and also vowed that his group's security outfit, the Eastern Security Network ESN, will call all the bushes in the southeast to rescue the four kidnapped Reverend Sisters. He said, I will be searching for every victim of kidnap in the region because we know that the Fulani are still busy kidnapping our people. There is only one lion in the jungle and soon they shall know. We are not interested in their blackmail. We would remain focused in the pursuit of the Afra struggle. We can't suffer those we vow to protect. Everybody will hear the news shortly. Moving on to the last story of the national news this hour from BGI TV. A disagreement between Oro worshippers and church members in Lagos State has resulted in death of one person. Police Public Relations Officer SP Benjamin Udeni gave the information in the Twitter post on Wednesday. The spokesman disclosed that a clash occurred at the Christian faithful observed a vigil. It is clearly a murder case. Suspects have been arrested, Udain confirmed. It was gathered that the oral worshippers were on a procession at night as earlier announced. During their march, they approached the church to put out their lights and ordered everyone to face down. But the church leadership and congregants defused and insisted that it led to a light, a fight. Oro regarded as a Yoruba god announces its presence by a wearing Roaring sound which can be heard in the neighborhood. Oro dresses in a robe with shells, a white wooden mask with blood smeared on the lips, and moves alongside its followers. That concludes the national news from BGI TV this hour. Before we go, some major headlines. Fake news, misinformation, fueling insecurity, FG. Anambra lawmaker slums dies in South Africa. And lastly, one dead as Oro worshippers, church members clash in Lagos. For more updates of our broadcast on YouTube, our handle is Babagbagide Imo TV. Kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell, select option all to access our broadcast. On Facebook, Babagide Imo with Alawiye Adibayo. Please like and follow the page. On Instagram, Babagide Imo underscore 22. For other placement of the goods and services, coverage of events and function, please dial the phone number streaming on the screen for advert placements only. Thank you for watching. I am Morire Regula Lawal. Good afternoon.